Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Vishon Jones, visionary of Fedora Outlier LLC, and I am excited this morning. It is Sunday morning, October 20. Let me check. I think it's, <clears throat> ah, yeah, the uh, 21st of October. Beautiful day, a day that we have never seen before and will never see again. And um, I get this question, well, a bunch of questions, but the bottom line of the question was, hey, dude, I'm about to sign up for this series. How will this help me to become an assistive technology instructor? And, um, you know, the other words that come after that supervisor, uh, assistive technology provider, assistive technology specialist, assistive tech, you know, so whatever you want, want to put behind it. Uh, how would this help me to become a uh, an assistive technology instructor? And the truth of the matter is that it really doesn't. And the reason why I say that is it gives you the guidelines to be a great assistive technology instructor, but I can't get you in the door of the places that you want to get to because uh, it's like the the old school thing. It's a bunch of gatekeepers, right? Government is one of the last places that still have gatekeepers. I mean, I could literally produce a movie for and and have it actually go to the movies um, and you can watch it for less hassle than it would take to to get notification it. center and, notification um, alert window image image and then the person that i'm talking about calls right now like calls right now this is this is who i'm who i'm discussing and that's crazy um so we're just gonna just let this phone ring I guess do not disturb it should have been um, pressed on, but this is a FaceTime call from um, our Indian friend, and I can pretty much guarantee that they're going to call back because that's what FaceTime. they FaceTime, FaceTime, window, empty dimmed. Jigesh uh, Saram, uh, at uh, iCloud. All right, stop. There you go. Yeah. I told Notification you. center. I want you to stop. I want you to stop. Hold on. Jigesh said accept. FaceTime off decline button. I'm going to decline. Press decline. All right. Fa uh, wow. Wow, in the middle of a video, and it, it's impromptu. I promise you, I didn't didn't tell him to call. I'm actually not even recording this live. I'm just recording it. Um, but so, like you know, again, I can create a movie and have it go through Hollywood and on the big screen for less than um, the trouble that it takes to get a vendorship in some states. Um, but Keeping it real, can you make a living? Um, yeah, you can make more than a living. Um, but a lot of assistive technology instructors, guess what they do? Uh, they drive around to people's houses. They go in for a couple of hours. They teach them something. And um, if they're good at what they do, they go to somebody else's house. And maybe you can get two or three of those per day uh, knocked out. And um, for me, when I started 10, 11 years ago, I knew that I didn't want this um, to be my narrative of driving to people's houses. I knew I could reach hundreds and even thousands of people by using the book concept. And what I mean by the book concept is I create something once and I sell it over and over and over and over again. Um, it's like software. Um, but most people when we were starting 10 years ago, didn't understand software as a service. Um, and so I used the book concept because most people were more familiar with that. And the USP, and every one of you guys who are wanting to be assistive technology instructors have it, USP. What is that? Your unique selling position. And it is when you become an assistive technology instructor, a sales job. You have to sell the counselor. You have to sell the VIS coordinator. You have to sell the superintendent of the school. You have to sell the private people that are going to be attracted to your service. And you have to offer something unique um, that nobody else is offering, whether that's your life experience, which helps you teach better, whether it's a product like the um, series that we offer, 
Um, but yes, you absolutely can make a hellified living teaching other people what is also known as IP. It's intellectual um, property, intellectual property. And so when I talked about the four groups that I wanted Fedora to be in, which was private, and we've mastered it, which was the Department of Education, we're getting better at that, which was the uh, business sector, also with uh, federal and state government. Um, it's kind of how we grouped that. And actually, it was five. Um, we broke private sector out to, well, business private, education, federal, and state. We broke those out into five sections. And I've been amazing um, to be able to have contracts in all those areas in a variety of states and a bunch of different federal entities. Um, And diversification, when you're thinking about uh, being an assistive technology instructor, how do you diversify what you do? It's like being a music um, artists, like being an artist and you have music, um, you have to do so much more now. You have to manage your social media, you have to manage your performance, you have to manage um, doing a bunch of different things from performing to being on the road to private teaching to maybe doing some um, teaching in colleges simply because one one thing like having all your eggs in one basket is not going to um suffice for everything and when i first started there was a a lady that is very prominent here in the georgia area um who said you would never get rich by doing uh assistive technology so if you have grandiose dreams of doing so then you know pipe down son and um, if anybody knows me, I never listen to what other people say, especially if they haven't done it. And I can tell you, I make a amazing, amazing living helping other people accomplish their goals. And that's what we do. If you hold on one sec, if I can take a sip of coffee prior to it getting cold, because that's how we kind of well, that's how we got started in a coffee shop. Um, And we would have these coffee breaks every Monday for about an hour discussing how we wanted to diversify our business and where we wanted to go and where we wanted to be. Um, We were featured at uh, CSUN, the California State University of Northridge, um, for our business models. We've been featured all over the news everywhere. We've been in the newspapers. Um, We've received awards. It's amazing what um, 10 years of imagination, dreaming and hard work would do. And I said, let me take a sip of coffee and I'm still talking. There you go. And so the long and short, if you put in enough work, if you put in enough of your dreams and, um, believe that they'll come true and actually work to make them come true, you absolutely positively is that a word? Positively? Spell that. <laughs> um, yeah, but you can positively fulfill um, a great living becoming an assistive technology um, instructor. And listen, man, thank you guys for literally all the hundreds of you guys out there who have purchased our courses for all the states out there. Let's look at some of them that's been affiliated with Fedora in some way or the other. Uh, well, let's not do that because that's FaceTime. Find Find- Saxophone contracts, folder, state contracts, folder, Minnesota, Georgia, Missouri, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Alabama, Illinois, Oregon, South Dakota, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, D.C., Delaware, Florida, Hawaii, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, <laughs> wow. Folder, Mississippi, wow. Folder, Montana, Folder, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, wow. New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Puerto Rico, Folder, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Folder, Texas, Folder, Utah. Folder. Wow. Wow. Um, and so, yeah, in multiple states in multiple different areas, whether it's Department of Education, whether it's private. Uh, those are just the, the state contracts. But um, you can have I mean, you can have whatever you want, really. I mean, you can fulfill the need of the people. 
then you'll always be in demand, um, you know. And so it's never just a system of technology. I never just wanted to teach somebody keystrokes for the sake of keystrokes. I always wanted it to be geared towards something called employment um, because the more money in your pocket, <laughs> the better you walk. I mean, it's just, just the truth. You know, you got... A thousand dollars in your pocket, you walk like you got a thousand dollars in your pocket because you got a purpose, whether it's to go spend it or whether it's to go get more or whether it's to go give it to um, help someone or whether it's to go save it. When you have an extra grand, extra 10 grand in your pocket, um, you can make some things happen, both for you and the people around you and the people that you decide to serve. So. Um, it's not a unicorn. You guys are, if you've gotten this point, are listening and uh, looking at a screen of a computer from a guy that has literally done it in all of those facets. Um, and it's been and is a great journey. So listen, when I say change the world, we're coming from a idea on a cruise ship with about 12 bucks in my pocket on a cruise ship with 12 bucks in my pocket on a cruise ship with 12 bucks in my pocket to create the largest assistive technology firm in the world. So let's change the world together.